Hi, so this video is going to be about um, the second lesson for symmetry. So the first video was just about what is symmetry, what are lines of symmetry. And we're going to add something to that called rotational symmetry. I'm hoping when you see the word rotational, we can see that the root word in that is to rotate. So obviously then this, when we're talking about rotational symmetry, is something to do with symmetry um, as it rotates or turns. Before we start, we're going to do a review. I want you to pause. Try this problem and then check your answer. We're going to go back to decimals and see if we can review some of that. It says, which symbol correctly compares these numbers? And I have 7 and 40 hundredths and 7 and 4 tenths. I'm hoping that if I have 7 and 40 hundredths, that I'm realizing that if I have 4 in the tenth place, I, can, I don't have any hundredths. I can put a zero there in the hundredths place, and I can see that these are equal, and the answer would be A. Press pause on this one. Press play when you're ready to check. An 8-ounce serving of orange juice has 0 0.3 or 3 tenths grams of calcium, or the OJ. A 1-cup serving of cooked spinach has less calcium than an 8-ounce serving of orange juice. So the spinach is less than that. Which answer choice shows how many grams of calcium a 1-cup serving of cooked spinach could have? So I guess I'm trying to find which one of these is less than this number. If you're thinking, wait, this is 3 and this is 24, 48, 50, 31, none of them are less, then you need to realize that if I have 3 tenths, I can put a 0 in the hundredths place and I really have 30 hundredths. So which one is less? 24 is less than 30, 48 is more than 30, 50 is more than 30, and 31 is more. So my answer there is A. This one I want you to pause and press play when you're ready. Bethany measured the mass of two different fruits. She found the mass of the pineapple, so the pineapple was 8.8 .8 or 8 tenths kilograms. The mass of the coconut was 74 hundredths kilograms. Which statement correctly compares them? So are they equal? No, that doesn't make sense. So I'm going to think which one's bigger or which one's less. Again, if you're like, oh, well, 8's less than 74, and that's actually not the answer because, again, if I were to line up what I know about the place value, and I were to put my zero, my seven tenths, and my four hundredths, this eight tenths, I can put a zero here to make it have um, a zero hundredths, and then I know that eighty hundredths is greater than seventy-four hundredths, and my answer would be B. This one, stop and pause and press play when you're ready. Sally measured the heights of two water bottles. One was three tenths meter tall, and the other was twenty-five hundredths meters tall. Which statement correctly compares the heights, or the heights of the water bottles? Again, I definitely know they're not equal, um, but again, I know that if we're, it's not that 25 is bigger than 3, um, because this 3 tenths is really 30 hundredths, so I know that actually 3 tenths is bigger than 25 hundredths. All right, let's get into rotational symmetry. So our vocabulary for today is rotation, which I hope we remember from... Chapter 9, we did like a turn, like a fourth turn, a half turn, three-fourths turn. Um, the word rotational symmetry, we talked about clockwise and counterclockwise in Chapter 9. Whereas if I have a clock, clockwise turns the way that a clock turns, and then counterclockwise goes the opposite way. So this is clockwise because this is how our clocks turn. Um, and then the center of rotation is another word we're going to be talking about. So let's look. So first of all, what is a rotation? A rotation means just to turn. So we know just from chapter 9, we talked about our um, angles, that we can do a one-fourth turn, a half turn, a three-fourths turn, or a full turn. So if I have a, this is the original starting position, and I want to turn it one-fourth, what I'm doing is I'm taking this, and I'm turning it this way, um, one-fourth. So what they did, I guess they actually turned it the other way. Um, and they, they turned it, you can see their arrow, they went down this way, and so this part came up here. And then a half turn is they started it at the beginning, and they flipped it one-fourth, two-fourths. A three-fourths turn is they started at the beginning, they did one half-fourth turn, a half turn, three-fourths turn, and it looks like that. And a full turn is where you start at the beginning. So when we are talking about something rotating, we're talking about how it turns around in a circle. So a couple key things is if you notice in these shapes, there's a dot in the middle. That's the center point where they turned it around that shape. Um, and then we're looking for symmetry, meaning at any point in the turn, does the turn shape look exactly like the starting position? So does this look just like this? 
No, it doesn't, because these don't look exactly the same now that it's turned. Does this one look like the starting position? Again, it does not, because here are the points on this side and the points over here. Does this one look like this starting one? Nope, that one also does not. And then obviously the full turn does. So this isn't going to count as rotational symmetry um, because at no point before it got back to a full turn did the shape look exactly the same. So again, when we rotate things, we can rotate, rotate them clockwise or we can rotate them counterclockwise. Remember, clockwise goes around like this and counterclockwise would be the opposite. We're going the opposite of a way a clock turns like this, okay? So if we have... Um, this shape and we have the center of it, like where I would, if I were going to rotate it, I would put my pencil down on that and turn my paper and that would be rotational. So I'm going to try this one. I'm actually just going to show you um, on a piece of paper what this actually looked like. I think it's really hard to do when you have, um, when you, when you don't, when you're on the smart board, it is hard to see. So I'm going to draw a picture of a square. Here's my starting one. Okay. And then on this sticky note right here, actually, you know what? I'm going to make this bigger so that way we can see it better. This is my starting shape. Here's my square and there's the center. And right here is going to be my rotating shape and I'm going to rotate it. So I'm going to start with the same shape though and put a center. So let's see. If I have this here, I'm going to hold it and I'm going to turn it one fourth. So I'm starting my finger up here at the top of the clock and I'm going to turn it right here one fourth. Does this shape still look like this shape? So on a one fourth turn, it does. Now I'm going to go back to the beginning and I'm going to start it here and I'm going to turn it a half. One fourth, two fourths. This shape still looks like the first shape. It's still a square. So at a half, it has rotational symmetry. I'm going to start it up here at the top again. I'm going to go three fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. And again, that still looks like the same shape. And if I start it here and I do a full turn, obviously one, two, three, I would just start at the beginning and that shape does have rotational symmetry. So if we look here, we can see that they had the shape, they did this one counterclockwise, so they turned it the opposite way. And again, that looks exactly the same no matter how you're turning it. So this shape does have rotational symmetry because I'm not trying to cut it in half. When I do regular symmetry, I'm just seeing if I fold it, does it have symmetry? With rotational symmetry, I'm seeing if it rotates, does it look the same and have symmetry? So let's try another one. If I have this shape right here, this is um, this figure. This is the starting position, what it looks like. And they're turning it this counterclockwise way. So they took it. And if I draw this, let me see if I can. They drew it. Hang on. So if you're ever in doubt, if you ever want to draw these shapes, I think that can be super helpful. Um, even if it doesn't look like exactly, if you can kind of get it to be the same. And then if I drew this again. Okay, I'm going to show you this on my paper. Okay, so here's my starting position. And these look the same. If I take this and I start up here and I turn it clock or one fourth turn one way, does this look like this? No. So it does not have rotational symmetry on the fourth. Now I'm going to go back and try a half turn. If I turn it once twice for a half turn, do these two shapes still look the same? They do. So this shape does have rotational symmetry because when I tried it one fourth, it did not work. X. When I tried it one half, it did work. I'll go back and I'll try a three fourths turn. If I start here, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, that does not work either. But look, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to have rotational symmetry for every single turn. If you can get it to happen one time, then that shape does have rotational symmetry. So in this case, it does have at the halfway point rotational symmetry. All right, what about this pencil right here? So again, sometimes I like to stop and draw these even if it's not perfect. Um, and I have my first one and they're turning this four times. So while you're waiting, I want you to see if this shape has rotational symmetry and think about why or why not, okay? So if I come back to my drawings and I just quickly drew these, this is really bad, I know. So here's my starting shape and here's the one I'm turning. If I have this here and I want to turn it one fourth times, I'm turning it this way. These shapes do not look the same because this one's pointing up and this one's pointing this way. All right, I'm going to do a half turn. It's going this way, this way. Now look, this is pointing up this way and this is pointing down. They are not the same shape. And if I do a three fourths turn, one fourth, 
two fourths, three fourths. Again, nope, does not work. This one's going up and this one's going to the side. If I go back to the beginning, it does, but that's just the same shape. So this one does not have rotational symmetry because at no point until it got back to the beginning did it look the same. All right, so now we're going to try these. I want you to pause, and I want you, if you need to, you can draw it and you can check, and I want you to see if it does have rotational symmetry. And then when you're done, I want you to press play. All right, so let's try these. If this were me, I'm going to draw each shape. So I'm going to draw this shape right here. I'm going to try that one. I'm going to draw it again. Again, this does not have to be perfect. And then let's go back and let's see. If I have this shape here, and this is the beginning. A fourth turn? Mm, nope, that doesn't work. I'm going to try a half turn. I'm like, I might, might work half turn, but let's try it. One fourth. There's a half turn. Yes, look at it because this one's pointing this way, it's pointing this way, and this one's pointing out, and it's pointing out. So this does have rotational symmetry um, because at the halfway point it did. If I do a three fourths, one, two, three, that does not work, but it doesn't matter. This one does have rotational symmetry. So this one would be a yes. Now I can try the second one is just a triangle. So I'm going to draw a triangle and I'm going to put my dot in the middle for my center of rotation. I'm going to draw another one and now I can compare. I always draw two so I can compare them um, so I can see. So let's see, a one fourth turn looks like this. Um, those do not look the same. If I have a half turn, it looks like that. That's pointing down, that one's pointing up. And if I do a three fourths turn, that does not look the same. The only thing I would think though, is if I were to take this, let me see if I can spin this. If I even make it like that, even if I get that point up at the top, I still think that side's a little bit off and it's a little tilted. So I'm gonna say this one does not, but I think if you maybe drew it more perfectly, um, there are certain types of triangles that would. So I'm going to say that one's a no. Now I'm going to try the rectangle. I'm hoping we can see just from the rectangle that um, it does. But if I were to check it, I would draw a rectangle. It's a really bad rectangle. Let me make that better. And I would draw a rectangle. And I'm already thinking, watch, a one-fourth turn, no. But a two-fourth turn, if I drew good rectangles, then yes, that one does work. So a rectangle has rotational symmetry. And the last one is a right triangle. Let's try the right triangle. I would draw it down, connect it. Again, I'm not the greatest at this. I need to slow down. Down, out. Okay, so let's see. If I make this my center, there's one fourth. Nope, those don't match because my right angle needs to be down there. Two fourths. Mm, nope, those aren't even facing the same way. Three fourths. Nope, it's still flipped. So that one is a no as well. All right, let's try, um, let's try these. Do these have rotational symmetry, right, yes or no? So pause, figure these out, press play when you're ready. All right, I'm going to get rid of some of my drawings. I'm wasting a lot of sticky notes here. And I'm going to draw. This one is a one, two, three, four, five, six, an octagon. It has eight sides. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's a really bad octagon. No, that's all right. Let's try this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm gonna turn it. If I have this one and I make it one fourth, does that look the same? And does that look the same? I think this one does have rotational symmetry because those look the same. So I'm gonna say yes for the octagon. Now let's try this triangle. I'm gonna spin this triangle here. So right there, I do not think this one does. Cause look at if I turn it even this way, make it flat, this side looks way longer. So I'm gonna say that's a no. But if I turn this shape, the third one around, that right there, when it's flipped as a 180, looks the same as it did in the beginning. So I'm gonna say a yes, no, yes. All right, let's try um, moving down here. It says the figures below are rotated about a point. Shade the figure that shows the correct position after it has been. So you can just point to the one that you think. So again. Um, shade the figure that shows the correct position after it has been rotated. So if this one, it says which one shows a quarter turn 90. So if this is, this dot's facing here and I want to turn it um, one way 90 degrees. This one says the arrow points to the way that they want it to turn. I would turn this this way. So it wouldn't look like this. It wouldn't look like this. Um, and then it says... 
I don't know why the dot is in the middle for this one. I guess if you turned it this way, it would look like this one. And if you turned it that way, it would look like that one. So I guess if I were going clockwise, I would do the last one. My only issue with the one that's actually shaded in is the dot isn't in the correct place. The dot is up here. So I kind of disagree with that one. Let's see what the next one looks like. Um, this one says a three quarters turn 270 degrees. So if I go, that means that this dot, if I were turning it that way, that would be a one fourth. If I do a half now, this dot's facing there. And if I do a three fourths, this dot's over here. The reason I was going counterclockwise is because the air was pointing counterclockwise. So I would use that one right there. Let's try one or two more. A half turn 180. Well, that means it's flipped in half. So again, if the dot's down here and I'm flipping it, if I'm going this way, the dot would be there for one fourth. The dot would just be on the other side if I did a half or 180 degree turn or a half turn. All right, let's see. Do these figures have rotational symmetry? Yes or no? If this right here, this arrow, um, sometimes what you can also do is if you hold up a piece of paper and trace it and then you can flip the paper over, that also works. I'm going to say that if I turn this upside down, then the arrows would be like this. But if I turn it half that way, then I would say that yes, this does. After a half turn and I flip it, it would have rotational symmetry. Um, we are right now going to, if you're feeling like you need a challenge for this, you can go on Study Island and do the symmetry um, on Study Island, or you could always go through any workbook pages for Chapter 13 to help you. So remember, lines of symmetry. <coughs> You name a shape and you're folding it along the line. Rotational symmetry is when you have a shape and you're turning it or rotating it to see if it ever looks like that same shape again. Okay, so we're going to continue practicing. Hope this was helpful.